Okay, let's get right to it. Someone was drawing a picture and they were having problems because they started drawing the picture with graphite and they wanted to increase the darkness. So they reached for a charcoal pencil and tried to use it to make areas darker, but they said it wouldn't work. And so I asked, when you say it wouldn't work, what do you mean? And they said, well, it kind of skipped. I knew exactly what the problem was. So in this very quick short video, I'd like to show you how you can use charcoal and graphite pencils together. There is a way to do it, but you have to do it a certain way. So let's get to our, our, our book <laughs> and begin the test. It's like playing graphite detective. But it's good to solve problems and it's good for people to share their problems and talk about it because sometimes the answers lie within another person that you might be right next to. But because you don't say something, then how are you going to get the answer? So here we go. So let's just say, for example, here's my 2B pencil. And I've been drawing and I've been drawing. Now, the key here is pencil pressure. If they were drawing for some time and already had tried in this instance to make the area dark like this, like they're making an area dark and they're saying to themselves, this is dark, but I know that a soft charcoal pencil could actually get it darker. They would be right. They would be 100% correct because as you notice, the 2B and then you have the soft charcoal the soft charcoal is darker but if they were to go over this already burnished 2b pencil you don't see much showing up and see i'll just come off of it see go on it come off of it same pressure go over it it's skipping and the reason that it's skipping is simple it's burnished it was pressed too hard already to allow the charcoal to blend with the graphite. Now let's go in the opposite. Let's take the soft pastel, so you, I mean the charcoal, so you can see it. I'm not going to make it very dark, but you can. Then let's take the 2B pencil and go over it. See, it covers. It's covering. You can see it's getting darker. You see the, the half. Let's go over the already darkened one. Graphite pencils going on the top. You can see it. You can see the difference. But for here, the graphite pencil creates a kind of a slick surface. And slick surfaces and charcoal do not work well together. So in order for this to work, you would first have to take the 2B and go light. Don't burnish it. Just go light. Like you're building up to a darkness. Then you can take your soft charcoal pencil and go right over it. And see, it takes. And it takes because it's not slick yet. So let's go a little harder. Just a little bit. This is a little harder. As you can see from before, it was a little lighter. This is a little harder. Let's see if it takes on this. And yes, it does. So... It's not that the charcoal pencil won't go over the graphite. It depends on how much graphite has been applied before you put the charcoal. So if you really want to get a dark, then don't try to use the pencil to get that dark. Use your graphite pencils to get your other values. Because actually, there is no reason for you to press this hard if you know you want to get this dark. So if you know you want to get this dark, but you want to build up your values, it doesn't matter what you're, what you're drawing. It could be as something as simple as a circle. And you know you want parts of this circle to be in a grade of a, a, grade of a darker value. Then don't approach it going hard first. Approach it going soft. Get the values that you know the graphite is known for, that is good for. Because graphite pencils are great for value. 
great for value. Unless you're just drawing in charcoal, charcoal pencils are pretty dark to begin with. But let's just say now on this side, you know you want to go darker. So now you have your, and I'm going to try to grade this. You have your, your graphite pencil working to a degree for you, but you want to make this side a little darker. Well, why not burnish it with the number two pencil? Why not use the pencil on top of the graphite to go darker for you? Now watch this. And then slowly come out with your graphite pencil to let your values get lighter so you can have that transition of light to dark. I mean, this is not a complicated thing, but if you don't know, then it could very well be disheartening when you're trying to use two different um, tools and one of them doesn't appear to be working for you, it seems to be working against you. In this case, this was burnished already. Burnish doesn't even have to have two pencils. Burnish could be just you pressuring the, the paper, filling up the divots, no room left in it. It's burnished. So then you try to go over that with charcoal, soft, medium, hard. It doesn't matter. It's not going to go. And the funny thing about this, and this is really... The, the last of it, and then I'm going to close on this because I think you get the point. It doesn't matter how hard you press with a charcoal pencil. You can always go over that with a graphite pencil. No problem. It'll it'll burnish the graph. I mean, the charcoal for you. It's actually a much better burnishing tool. If you use the charcoal and the graphite together, then if you just use the graphite because you don't get as much shine. See, see, you don't get as much of that shine that you get from the graphite by itself. But if you learn to use these two tools together, you can achieve a much broader range of darkness. Because a graphite pencil, no matter if you had a 6B, here's a 6B, pressing hard. I'm burnishing it. I'm not going to go over it. I'm just trying to show you. It's a 6B. I'm going to press it until I can get as dark as I can just with the number 6B pencil. Then I'm going to take this soft uh, charcoal pencil right next to it, and you tell me which one is darker. So if I already know that I want to go this level of darkness, unless I want a gradient, a, gradient, a gradient of this value coming close, I would impress this hard first. Even with a 6B, you can go light, build up some of the value, then get to a point where you say, okay, I'm going to bring in the charcoal pencil now and go the rest of the way. See? So if that's the case, and then even after you do that, you can still take your 6B and go over it to burnish it, to make it even darker. And then you can go back the other way to find that, that value grade changes for you. So you can go from a darker, super dark to start the building towards a lightness and then you can go as light as you want to switch to an even lighter pencil and go a, a lot lighter see i'm just trying to show you that in in the world of drawing all of this is tools tools for you to use how you use them or knowing how to not use them can help you understand how to better use them. And you can get the most out of your pencils and your charcoal because they do make a great companion. It's just that you can't do the pencil first really dark and then try to put charcoal on top. You have to go light. Then you could put charcoal on it all day long. All day long. 
but not the other way. And if you already working with charcoal, you know you can come back and fill those gaps with a pencil and it'll go right over it and have a nice mix if that's what you want. Well, I hope this was helpful. Um, and I really do appreciate the person uh, telling me the story. Sometimes I learn so much just from listening to what people go through because we all go through it. As artists, we all go through situations and sometimes we're alone. And that's why it's good that YouTube created itself in order for us to learn things. And there's lots of people you can learn from. And I'm just trying to share this information so that if anybody happens on my little channel, because I'm not asking for subscriptions, I'm not asking people to join, I'm not trying to, to do anything major except share information. So here I'm sharing this information and I hope it proves to be helpful for you. And on that note, everybody have a great day. Good art. Have fun. Push around a few colors and be creative.